would have thunk it. Uh, great value vanilla cappuccino. I wish you could just smell this. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Talking some special effects today in DaVinci Resolve. This is actually really simple. No fusion needed. I don't always get to do special effects, but when I do, I do a tutorial on them. And so anytime a video is like intense, like this football workout I did in a short, here, let me, let me play it first. Just watch first in case you missed it. I've done a similar video on this already on how to light a ball on fire for sports videos. So it's going to be a very similar workflow to that one if you saw it. But I use the site Vid Easy for all these special effects. They have a lot of them on there totally for free. So really good resource that I've talked about before on this channel. I just searched like fire or flame and got the effect there. So here's how you apply it to your video. So we're going to stay in the edit tab here. Here's our flame effect. And this is what it's going to look like when you download it. I'm going to place it over my clip. I wanted to light Jeremy on fire whenever he turns around. So this is what it'll look like initially. We have to go to our composite mode very first thing and go from normal and click add. So there we go right there. So we just have fire uh, seemingly coming from the ground. And so we'll have to modify it again, make it a lot smaller and because this is a short form video. We wanna make it fit on his back. And so I'm gonna go to my zoom right here and do that, just make it small. I think it ended up being about point two nine right there and then we can play around with the position and the rotation angle obviously for this you just want to fit it to his back so we're going to go the same angle as his back is going and we want to keyframe all of these for our position and rotation angle and as you can see there it covers like his whole body and so in order to fix this we're going to come to our crop here and begin to play around with this I'm going to crop left to where it is just on his shoulder right there crop right just to where we want it covering his back and then we can crop the bottom and to make this not look like a solid block all we have to do is go to our softness right here i think i actually cranked it up to a hundred so once we have that uh, that that'll be set for the rest of the time so as soon as you get a size that you like i didn't i never changed the size i just kept the size the same what we will have to change later is our position and rotation angle which is a lot simpler than what you think so Hang with me, hang with me. It did take me some time because you have to key frame. I think I went frame by frame. So it took me a little bit of time. Obviously I wasn't timing myself. I was just playing around with the edit, but it was definitely worth it. So take your time. If you post it a day later than what you were expecting to, that's okay. Take your time, make it a special effect. I didn't even know if I was gonna like it and I applied it and then liked it. And I'll talk about what kind of looked weird and made me almost not do it. And there is another effect that we have to add on top of this that if you don't do it, this is just gonna look terrible. So I won't bore you to death on the keyframing, but make sure you have your keyframe set in red right here for position rotation angle. And so frame by frame, I would just go and see where I wanted it was the middle of his back. And so right here, I would just have to change my rotation angle to make it consistent my y position my x position change those things so what made it look weird when i was initially editing this and made me just want to delete it and, and not even use it was i had the flame a little bit away from his body and just being a tad bit away it just looked disconnected and weird and 
not obviously a flame coming from somebody's back isn't natural anyway but there, there's no flow to it and so i had to make sure and make the flame pretty close to his back and, and coming like from his body because in fast motion when we speed it up you're not going frame by frame it's going to look a lot better and have more flow to it that way so once you've taken your time and gone frame by frame uh go to your flame effect and i just faded it in here a little bit it made it look a lot better so it'll just kind of fade in as he's running and what we cannot miss that I said earlier this would be a really bad mistake to make we have to have to have to make sure and add sound effects sound design is going to be key to any special effect anything that you're using when it comes to this it's going to look really weird because there's no sound to it it's just gonna like appear and be like oh wait where'd that come from it's gonna like play an eye trick on you and it's gonna look worse rather than enhancing the video making it better so here's my audio track these are the ambient sounds what was really happening uh, during the workout then i have a fireball pass a fireball burst basically these are whooshes but the fire ones and so whoosh in whoosh out for the effect and it actually transitions well into the next clip and then i have a fire blaze that makes it all sound really good so let, let's hear just this clip with no music and, and only the sound effects a good way to judge whether your sound design is good or not and whether it's creating the atmosphere in the video that you want is to do this to listen to it with no music and ask yourself could this clip or could this video stand alone if there was no music? And so when you add the music to it, it's going to make it that much better. Let me know if there's anything I left out. Put your questions in the description down below. I'd be happy to answer them. If I need to do another video on this, I will. I am going to do a full editing breakdown on this short and how I went through doing all of it and shooting all of it. So stay tuned for that one. If you're new here, my name is CJ. I'm into video editing. I'm into filmmaking, photography, everything that has to do with that. So... See you guys next time. Bye.